In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily color grade your footage in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So here inside Premiere, I already have my clip down on the timeline, and this is the second part to the two-part series of color correction and color grading. I've covered in depth the color correction process in a different video. I'll go ahead and put that video in the YouTube cards now. You can also find that link down in the description, but to break it down as simple as possible, color correction is gonna be you making your footage replicate what the human eye naturally sees. Color grading is actually what you do to set the mood or set the tone of your video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to these double arrows and then under project, I'm gonna go inside of here, right click, go to new item, adjustment layer, make sure this matches my video settings, I'm gonna press okay, and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag that adjustment layer over top of my footage. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that adjustment layer, go up to the color tab, and then over here under HSL secondary, I'm gonna click on this tab, then I'm gonna find a portion in my video where I can see the skin tones really well. Then I'm gonna go over here to the color picker, select it, and then click on my skin tones. Then what I'm gonna do is click this box here, and I'm gonna play around with these little arrows here to isolate my skin tones. And just play around with these until your skin tones are completely isolated. Once I have my skin tones isolated, I'm gonna click this invert mask button here. And this is going to prevent my skin tones from being affected. Then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of blur so that the colors blend smoothly. And then I'm gonna scroll down a little further and I'm gonna add a little bit of teal into my video. And that looks pretty good for me. Then what I'm gonna do is scroll back up to here, uncheck this box, and once I play it back, this already looks pretty good to me. But I can make it look even better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go scroll down under effects controls here and I'm gonna click on this Lumetri color and I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna press Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows, and then Command V or Control V to duplicate that effect. Then what I wanna do is right click on this top effect and rename this, and I'm just gonna type in teal. Then I'm gonna scroll down here and select that second effect, and I'm gonna recheck this box. Then what I wanna do is uncheck Invert Mask. Now I only have my skin tones isolated and we're gonna make them look good. So first thing I wanna do is bring this blur down back down to zero. And I'm gonna scroll down here. And this is where I can add a little bit of warmth and make my skin tones look a little bit better. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. Then I'm gonna bring up my sharpness to make my skin tones look that much better. Next, I'm gonna scroll back up here. And under color wheels and match, I'm gonna open up this tab and I'm gonna raise my highlights just a bit. Next, I'm gonna open back up HSL Color. I'm gonna uncheck this box here. I'm gonna add a little bit more warmth to make sure those skin tones pop. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here, uncheck this box here. You can also go back in here under Color Wheels and Match and just drop these shadows down just to give it a little bit more contrast. I'm gonna play it back. That looks pretty good to me. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.